Good afternoon. This is Julie. It is Tuesday, my favorite day, April 24th, and this is a redo video. I had to take the first one off, <laughs> delete it. I was ranting, and I apologize if anyone listened to that, and I thought I would, you know, calm down and redo the video because there's so many important things to talk about. Um, first, um, you need to know that the market came very, very close to um, that crude rallied up today, but the uh, NASDAQ um, came very close to breaking this, what looks to be, could be a head and shoulders, left shoulder, head, right shoulder, and here's the neckline. Get my drawing tool out. And um, at just below the 200 EMA. And fortunately, right at lunchtime, we bounced up a little bit. We never touched the 200 EMA. I uh, got really close to it. And uh, some buyers started stepping in. Momentum is above, well, just broke below zero. It was above zero. But linear regression is still above the zero line. So I'm hoping that cooler heads prevail and they bring this back up before breaking this neckline. Um, if they do break the neckline, there's nothing we can do. Just, you know, enjoy the volatility. Uh, usually what happens in a head and shoulders pattern is they will break the neckline. It will run and then it will come back and check, you know, come back and double test it and then run again. And a lot of times you'll get a gap, gap and go on that retest. Um, but expect a lot of volatility with this because there's clearly a head and shoulders pattern setting up here. And traders have been pent up for years wanting to sell this market. I understand that um, because they were complaining it's artificially high, it's artificially high. Well, what, you know, so I can calm down and not do my rant, what I wanted to um, communicate is that we have growth for the first time in 10 years, bona fide growth, and it's going to just keep getting better. Um, we have uh, an administration in the White House, fortunately, that recognizes uh, the importance of, you know, taking the reins off of regulation. Uh, the tax cuts, and there is, it's already demonstrated in these first quarter earnings that we're seeing, and um, the earnings are just outstanding. We had a fabulous report from um, Google Alphabet yesterday. We've got Facebook, Twitter, Boeing, PayPal, Visa, and then um, Amazon on Thursday. So there's a plethora of earnings coming out and the news ahead of this is that they're all great so we have fantastic growth opportunity fantastic bona fide earnings and then we're flirting with this three percent uh yield and the market the media the market has been responding to this three percent today um that's what the initial sell-off was, was on this 3%. Um, and just because it hit that number, the market tanked. And I mean, it tanked hard. And I got angry because the, the media has been bombarding us for the last six weeks, you know, like it's a magic number, 3%, 3%. Well, we have to appreciate the context that we're in with all this growth and earnings and the new administration, the pro-capitalism, the pro-business, the growth, growth, growth. And we're leading everyone in the world out of this slump that we've been in. And yet the media, for some reason, has been like chicken little, as soon as it hits 3%, you're going into a recession. That's not true. It's far from the truth. We're, we have growth, G-R-O-T-H. You're supposed to buy stocks during expansions. You're not supposed to run to the bond market 
to get a quarter of a percent or a tenth of a percent off of a bond. It's crazy. Yes, inflation's coming in because there's growth. Um, so I apologize for any of you who got a hold of that first video that I um, posted, but I do think it's the media's fault. Um, and they should stop reporting stuff that's ir irresponsible to say that there's this magic line in the sand and as soon as it hits 3%, you better sell your equities because we're going into inflation and there's no way that we can get second quarter, third quarter, fourth quarter earnings that look like the first quarter. That's garbage. Yes, we can get better earnings because people are going to start doing business. People are going to start opening companies. People are going to start employing people. People are going to start getting wage increases. People are going to start spending money. I mean, now is the time to start singing hallelujah, you know, days of wine and roses and let's go party. Now's not the time to be sending the stock market down just because you have this artificial fear of some 3% line in the sand. It's not a magic number. It does not mean that we're going into a recession this time. I mean, I know that there was like a historical pattern that said that before every time it hit 3% that indicated within six to 12 months we would go into a recession, but the context is totally different. We were 10 years into artificial market manipulation with that QE where the market did nothing but these little tiny days. Do you see this? Little bitty tiny candles, big sell off because the market wanted to sell off. Little bitty tiny candles, big sell off. Little bitty tiny candles, up, up, up. You know, it's just like, you know, the, the Fed was artificially propping this market up and every time it would hit a level, they would buy the market and send it back up. So now the puppet strings have come off. The market realized we're on our own. We can trade again. So what's the first thing they want to do? They want to sell it. That's crazy. Okay. Now I'm going to calm down again. Here's the head and shoulders. You know what to do. If that right shoulder breaks, we're just going to make a ton of money selling it. You know, it's not like I could give a crap. I'm buying, you know, I can make money buying or selling. I'm trading futures. But, you know, I don't want to tank our market just on some fallacy, 3% line in the sand that's meaningless. We have growth, people. <laughs> it's like, buy, buy, buy. And let me show you on my linear regression chart. Uh, from today. Here's the three minute chart. Here's the trend. Here was that. Um, it started selling off. Um, and especially as the market opened, it just sold off. And then at lunch, one o'clock, 1230, one o'clock, it started forming this bottom. And then we pulled up just a little bit off the bottom. But we got damn close to that 200 EMA and breaking that neckline today. If it didn't pull back at lunch, somebody did step in here and they propped the market up. Let me show you the linear regression all and you can see that it was um, green. That's the three minute. You see them coming in. Let me show you the 15 minute and you get a different view of this. But there were some buyers stepping in. You can see it came off. But here was the meat of the move. This is what we need to sell. And here's what we did today in the trade room. We were involved in the market during this period of time. And we were taking trades on the um, high-low one, trading it down. some great trading opportunities when on these pullbacks or just trade the oops wrong way reversal short and you can even have a bigger bar than the 714 
on a day like today, um, you have to, when the volatility is bigger, you have to increase your bar size if you're going to be trading the high low one. Um, otherwise, what is better, let me put this on both. What is better to trade, you know, you get some great, great trades set up out of here. Um, guys in the trade room were hitting these um, triggers uh, in Blackbird. And so every time the market would hit, would pull back, they would be entering when it came back down and then crossing these triggers. And writing it down and so that's another way to do it so put one on trade the triggers and um, you know just enjoy enjoy the show <laughs> um, up and down um, but basically what I'm trying to say is is that I'm worried about this um, head and shoulders um, that fortunately tomorrow, um, we've got the, um, market going to be doing the, um, earnings, um, but that may not help us during the day. I, I have a feeling that that head and shoulders is going to get knocked out tomorrow. I mean, we're just too close to it, not to knock it out. So to flirt with it. So again what you do on a head and shoulders if it does happen and i hope it doesn't i hope this continues just drifting back to the middle uh ahead of that earnings but um measure from the top to the bottom and so um 860 points 861 points and then bring that down and this is where we can expect it to run to all right so look at how much market share it's going to wipe out that's just crazy why does the market going to do that because the media writes that you have to sell on three percent no you don't that's nuts. You don't have to sell just because it's 3% earnings. And the other guy who said, well, this is all about the tariffs. I beg to differ with him too. Um, we're negotiating. China has just ripping us off left and right, fudging their numbers. Excuse me. That's being very polite. They fake their numbers. They fake their companies. They've been robbing us blind. And uh, it's, it, it's time that the world called them on it and and thank god for president trump because he is doing something about it uh, actually found somebody going to washington dc that's doing some things so um if we get china in line and they've already said that they're going to allow our automobile companies to come over there and keep half of the the revenues that they generate from their sales that's a first so your car companies are all going to be reporting great earnings in the second quarter for that person who came out earlier today and said that there's not going to be any more to report for the second, third, and fourth quarter. I beg to differ. We're just getting this party started. So let's not tank our market just because of some invisible 3% line in the sand. Um, it's because of the context. This time it's different this time we have bona fide earnings and it's a total um paradigm shift it's a new um new administration new um tax law change first time in history new everything uh regu less regulation so let's take a breather and let's all see if hopefully we get some wicks down here instead of crashing it through and get some buyers stepping up in here that's what i want to see but um we'll trade it either way i don't care i i'll i will be fine but um all right so this is a better version of the video again i apologize if anybody got a hold of me i was so angry at the the stupidity of the market you know sending it down over some ridiculous 
line in the sand just because everyone in the media doesn't have anything else to write about. So they, they, they just like built it up, built it up, built it up over six weeks so that when it happened, you know, it's like all the algos start selling. Um, it's stupid. All right, that's it. Y'all have a great evening and we will see you soon. Thank you.